Hi. Hi, Julie. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Martin. Um, are we ready to start our first virtual tour? Yes. Great. Okay. So here you go. This is exactly what you need. Great. Something here. Exactly. So inside here you have uh, two pieces. One is a custom built monopod and you have a Ricoh TWD camera. Okay. Okay. So great. Okay, so it's very simple. Just open up the three legs. They click into place automatically. And? Okay, and you just want to make sure that that's locked in. Simply. At the bottom here. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Great. Make sure okay. it's flat. Okay. Okay, and then you put this on the floor, I think, would be best. Okay. And then you're going to open the whole thing to its full uh, extended height. Great, okay, that's place, done. Nicely. So it's locked into place, it's all fixed in. And next is your Ricoh Theta camera. So there you go. Great, okay, that's fine. That has a quick release plate, so you can always take that in or remove it. Oh, great. Whenever you need to. And if you do lose that one, we do keep a spare at the bottom. Okay. okay. And that's it, you're good to go. You're all set up. Great, thank you. Okay, so I see you have your form with you. So let's go ahead and create our first tour. Um, can you just click on the Rico Tours uh, application? Great, okay. And then uh, at the bottom, you'll see uh, Create New Tour. So just click on that. Okay, plus sign. Exactly. And then you need to input the address of the property. Okay. All right, and then you'll see the property that has autofill function. Great, okay, and click done. And they are ready almost to add your first picture. So make sure the camera is switched on. Okay. Right, and then at the bottom there, just click on the theta uh, icon, and that will give you a live preview. So right now the camera is connecting wirelessly uh, between uh, the mobile phone and the camera itself. And you can actually scroll through here. So let's go ahead and leave the room and take our first picture. Okay, okay great, let's go. So now we have the camera set up inside the room and we're viewing that remotely. So just go ahead and scroll through the picture, all the way to the left, all the way to the right. And also you can do that up and down as well. Okay. So that's a complete 360 view. All the way down again. Okay, so if you're happy with the picture, the room is staged properly, then you go ahead here and you press this button. Okay. Yep. And what's happening now is the camera's taking three images, exposing them and stacking them together. So the picture's already been taken, so that's our picture already recorded, and you need to label the room. So go ahead and put a label, okay. uh, uh, maybe room number one. Okay, great. And then just click on next photo. Next photo? Yeah, add next, next photo. photo. Okay, and then we go to the next room. Okay, so we're in our second room. So let's leave the room again and take a picture remotely using the mobile app and then record the camera. Okay. Okay, that's our second room. Just make sure that's staged correctly. So scroll all the way through, left, right, up and down. Okay. Are happy with that? Yes. Okay, great. Let's press the shutter button and the camera's triggered again. And then we're just gonna label that. Okay, so let's label that room number two, I think would be good. And then click done. And that's it, you've got your two images and uh, you're all finished on your mobile app, so let's go to the PC and uh, or your laptop and check the contents. Okay, great. great, thanks. This is our management console. We access this through the marketing website of Rico Tours. Uh, so once you've logged in, you can see all the tours listed there automatically. They're available instantly for you to access. Uh, so let's click on one of the tours. Um, this is a tour we just created. In the top right-hand corner, we have a drop-down menu which gives us various uh, options. Uh, edit tour address, copy link, copy MLS uh, link, which is on branded tour. Uh, copy embed code, which gives us various sizes of embedded code um, to actually embed into a website. And we also have a shared on Facebook. So let's actually go ahead and, and post that one to Facebook. Okay, and that's done. So we're going to check that in a quick, uh, in a second, I should say. Mm -hmm. um, here uh, we have uh, the two images. So let's go ahead and add the tour paths. So edit tour paths. Uh, we're going to click where we want to transition to the next space. So that's going to be room number two. That will take us to room number two. We click on it again. 
and then we add room number one. Room number one is done. And actually that's it. We've actually created a tour path between two separate spaces uh, within a couple of seconds. Okay. okay, so that's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, and let's go to your Facebook page. Okay, so this is your Facebook page. Give it a quick refresh. Scroll down and let's open the tour. And here it is. This is your tour. You can see, you know, the contrast between the outside and inside. This is all natural lighting. You can see there's no lighting in the ceiling, so it's all natural lighting. And we click on the tour path that takes us to the second room. Again, the second room is well done. Um, it's well lit. It looks like a you know a very nice picture. And we have here the address. The property description will be placed in here, and the actual location in Google Maps. And that's it. We're done. That's great. Very helpful. Thank you. Thank you, Julie.